Hello class, again this is IS-303, Information Systems. And this is going to be your introduction to the Barnes & Noble case. Now, the case is entitled Barnes & Noble, Managing the eBook Revolution. Uh, and of course the case is about how Barnes & Noble responded to the arrival of the eBook industry. As you read in the case, uh, Borders Book had already folded. Local booksellers quickly went out of business. Um, there was an e-reader that was developed based on e-ink. The case looks at DRM, Digital Rights Management. It looks at different formats, whether or not you want a, a proprietary format. The case examines uh, different pricing models. It talks about competing against Apple's agency model. It gives you some information on the agency model and the legal issues uh, that came from using that model. Now after reading the Barnes & Noble's case, you'll be familiar with many of the forces in the ebook market. So what you're going to do in this case, and you're first going to do this uh, on an individual basis, you're going to basically design an ebook reader. So you're designing a device that you believe will be successful. You're going to identify the market that you're designing for. You're going to select the form factor that you want to use. You're going to select the various features that uh, your new ebook reader will have. You will talk about whether or not it will have DRM. You will decide what pricing model uh, you want it to have. Um, and then you're also going to discuss some other features. You will also, uh, in this case, after you've designed your new ebook reader, you're going to explain what company uh, or market that you think your new ebook reader is going to disrupt. Be sure that you understand the characteristics of disruptive technologies. Um, they come to the market with a set of performance attributes that existing customers just don't value. But over time, the performance attributes improve to the point where they invade established markets. One of the examples of this would be cell phones. Uh, when cell phones first came to market, um, they had certain performance attributes, but the existing customers, the ones that had, which of course was almost everyone, a landline telephone, did not value these attributes to the point that they were going to rush out and buy a cell phone. Over time, the performance attributes uh, improved. Um, you could include text messaging. You could include a web browser. Uh, and as these performance attributes improved, more and more people started seeing the value of having a cell phone either in place of or in addition to the traditional landline. <clears throat> so you'll want to keep um, these attributes or characteristics of a disruptive technology in mind as you answer your questions. Now question one, after reading the Barnes & Noble case, you will be familiar with many of the factors involved in the ebook market. Your task, as I said, is to design an ebook reader that will be a success in a market of your choice and will disrupt a market leader or leading technology. So you're going to choose all the features that you think will make it successful. And you're going to describe the reasoning behind each of your choices. So you'll review the question in the discussion board 
uh, basically in the case questions document. And be sure that you address all of the criteria. And this is sections A through G. Uh, in other words, you're going to treat this as a seven part question. You will, for A, you will state the market that you're designing for. In your support for that, you will state, of course, why. And you will do the same for A through G. Uh, just as if you were answering seven different questions and you will use your structured white space format. Now for question two, and of course you will do this again as an individual, you're going to identify the market, the market leader, or the product technology that your new successful ebook is going to disrupt. Um, of course, again, uh, after your initial post, your team will meet and, and you will do the same thing as a team. And you will use structured white space for uh, both questions. That's the only two questions for this case. So check your schedule again, the, cal the calendar in Canvas or the listing in the virtual classroom for the exact date and time of the Q&A virtual meeting. Review your case. Be sure to have your questions ready. Um, again, if you have a question and you know you can't attend the virtual meeting, you can email me your question. I will read it and answer it during the meeting. The meeting will be recorded and then posted to Canvas. So I look forward to seeing everyone there. Thanks.